We're going to take a look at the flat footed or toe flex jump. I'll show you guys what it looks like and I'll show you what you're looking for so that you can look to fix it. Okay? So, having a look at my feet. If I am jumping with a flat foot, what we're going to notice, number one, it's going to be very noisy. Number two, you're also going to notice the direction of my toes. It looks like this. So, like I said, not only is that noisy, but at the peak of the jump or the top of the jump, instead of my toes pointing down, which is where I want them, they're actually pointing up towards my head or alternatively, they're just facing forward and flat. We should see with good bounding mechanics that we get to this position here. Fault number two was knees coming up. Okay, so this is when people drive their knees to their chest. It's a pretty obvious one to look out for, but just in case we don't understand it, people are gonna be jumping with their knees tucked up every single time. Really, really demanding in terms of how much energy is going into it, but also a very inefficient bounding pattern. The next one, very, very common for people who not only do the toe flex jump, but also tend to go into a bent position now, is called the dolphin jump. Alternatively, if you just wanted to think of it as a bent body position like this. When people do their double unders and they're starting to get tired or their rope's getting shorter because their hands are going out, they try to find a different way to kind of change their body shape so that they can fit into the rope. When they're doing it, it looks like this. Legs straight in front, shoulders hunched forward, and legs going forward every single time like this. Again. Not the, most in, uh, not the most efficient jumping pattern to use, remembering that we're looking for straight legs and toes pointing down. The next thing to look out for is extension. When we're talking about extension, if I were to stand here, this would be neutral, this would be flexion, this would be extension. So for some people when they're doing their double unders, again, a little bit inefficient, as they're jumping they flare the chest out, it looks like this. Make sure we're trying to stay in a neutral position as we jump. We don't want to be in flexion. We don't want to be in extension. Just nice and relaxed. So the next one, if you do weightlifting, maybe this is going to make sense, is we look for extension of the legs when we're lifting. We should also look for extension of the legs when we are jumping, okay? So people who don't fully reach extension or they have bent knees in the jump look like this, where they're jumping, but their knees never lock out. What we're looking for instead, again, is that straight-legged extension point where we're locking out the knees and we're also locking out the hips. We're not just jumping and opening the hips but keeping the knees closed. 